Hello, it's Ruby and today I'm going to be showing you an exercise routine because it's something that I've got lots of requests to do and I'm not going to pretend that I'm really good when it comes to fitness or anything because I have only recently actually in maybe like the last year and a half actually got into exercising regularly. Um, before that I really wasn't into, into exercise, I was really bad, I know that you should be but I really really hated it and I really didn't like PE lessons. I did gymnastics and trampolining but that was pretty much it and that was that was the only exercise that I got every week aside from PE lessons. But in the last year and a half, especially since joining university, I've really made an effort to get more active. It's just really good for you and, and everyone knows that and I did know that but I still did not listen. So I'm going to show you um, my exercise routine. I don't do this every single day. Sometimes I might do a slightly shorter version so I might just do the trampoline stuff, I might just do the stretching even, I might just do the general workout bits but I'm going to show you everything as in on a really really good day this is everything that I would do. So I'm first we're going to just show you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing my only pair of gym leggings, sports leggings, which are these ones which have this like see-through bit here and when I bought them I didn't realise they were see-through, I just thought it was pink. I wear my gymnastics leotard just because I don't like wearing a t-shirt and then for it to come up. Okay, so we're going to head up to the this room which we call the home gym. It's not really, it's where my mum does massage and where I keep my gymnastics mat so that I can go up and exercise there. So let's, let's head down. Okay, we're up here in the home gym now. Just to show you what it looks like. Then that there is my mum's massage bed. And then this side, I've got my mat, my beam. Long story short, there's a wasp nest up in the room where I usually do gymnastics. And so, I have come outside to do it. Basically, the first time I filmed it, I don't know what happened to the clips, but I filmed it on two different cameras, and one of the cameras worth of clips deleted. So, I'm just going to be integrating this into the other video because the other video is more in line with what I actually do because I usually do it upstairs. It's just that at the moment number one it's very good weather and number two I don't want to be stung by wasps. So I'm going to start with stretching. So as you can see the first thing I do when I stretch is go into this butterfly position. This is just really good for getting your legs warmed up I suppose. It's a very gentle stretch. Then I will go into my straddle and I will just, as you can see, stretch each leg individually first. And to get an extra stretch, I like to put my head down on the mat, as you can see, because it's a slightly stronger stretch on your leg. And then I will reach down the bottom of the mat and I like to go three, two, one, with, with each lunge getting progressively lower so that uh, you're, you go into the stretch more gradually. Then I will just stretch my pike. I really hate the stretch. It's not fun. It really, really hurts. But it's necessary for your split stretching. And then after that, I will just stretch the back of my legs. This is again just a good stretch for splits. Then I'll go into splits. Today I can't quite get into my splits because yesterday I strained this leg when I was stretching and so it's a bit too sore and a bit too tense for me to actually go fully down into my splits which is why I'm not actually going to push myself to go down into them because it hurts a bit too much at the moment. But yes, usually I would sit in my splits for two minutes, like one minute either side. But today no because this leg hurts. So then I will just do these leg lunges I don't know what they're called leg kicks I suppose and this is just a good prep for moves like front walkovers and things then I like to do some sit-ups so every day I like to do 50 sit-ups just 50 normal sit-ups and then I'll do 50 of these sit-ups where I go into my butterfly at the end and I don't know if this is a thing, but I enjoy doing them, so this is what I like to do. I do 10 of those at the end. Then I will at least try to do a few press-ups. I cannot do press-ups. I really, really hate them. I do not have the upper body strength for them, but I try and do at least five. 
and then I'm so so tired so I end up going into child's pose <laughs> then I like to go into plank for only a minute I don't hold it for very long because as I said I'm not very strong but I know it's good exercise another thing that I will do is burpees so even though I don't like press-ups I actually really like burpees which is funny Then I like to use this weight hula hoop and I will just do 100 hula hoop spins. Next, I just like to do these leg lifts, I believe they're called. So then I'll also do these butterfly arm stretches. This is a ballet exercise and it strengthens your arms and builds lean muscle. Okay, I'm sufficiently tired now and it's so that's my workout and the stretching and then i would usually go on the trampoline i might have to show you this tomorrow it's pouring with rain at the moment so instead i'm going to step here and i'm going to do some gymnastics up here so i'll use the beam and i'll use the mat to practice some moves so as you can see, I'm basically just practicing things like cartwheels and front walkovers, one-handed cartwheels. This is more for fun than it being actual exercise. I just really enjoy doing these moves. And then I like to just get the beam out at the end. I don't really use this as much as I should. I used to use it a lot more when I actually did gymnastics, but I just like to practice cartwheels on here because I just, I'm really bad at doing them. So I just practice. Okay, there we go. I'm all done. So then these are the things I will do on the trampoline and I will do this every day. So I like to do 10 tuck jumps, 10 pike jumps and 10 straddle jumps just to warm up and straddle jumps are my favorites then I practice three of each move so here we've got three aerials with a big jump then I do three front handsprings three baranis and then I will do three standing front aerials so I'll only do one jump for the aerial Then I like to do three of these. I don't know what they're called. They're kind of like round offs. And then I probably end up doing around 20 backwards walkovers. Okay. So next I will just practice some gymnastics moves outside, which is good fun. So I'm really trying to get my front aerial and I'm finding it really hard to practice it on the trampoline, so I'm just trying to do prep for it on the grass, but I need to run up for it. And there we go, that's pretty much my exercise routine, so I know it's not very intense, but it's exercise that I enjoy doing and it means that I can keep active. I've tried other sports, I've tried other, other forms of exercise and I don't really enjoy them. And this is a way for me to sustain exercise and at least partially active lifestyle because in the past I just wasn't active and it was really bad for me. So now I'm making a great effort to spend more time exercising. Yeah, so uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm really sorry because I know I'm not a fitness expert at all, but people have asked to see the exercise I do on a daily basis. And so I hope that this video is partially helpful for somebody, even though, as I said, I'm not a fitness expert, so I don't know how good a routine this actually is. Um, it's just one that works for me. And yes, thank you for watching. And I hope that you have a productive week.